Welcome to my new video guys. Uh, probably when you are coming to Moscow you would like to see things how it used to be in the past but now everything is rebuilt. However, there is one really interesting district here in Moscow that called Kuryamsky district and here people are still living how it used to be in Soviet Union. All the houses are the same and a lot of signs of Soviet Union. So in my new video I decided to show you how it looks like and maybe when you come to visit Moscow you would like to visit it and to see how things used to be. Yanovsky district looks like a small town, somewhere far away from the capital, but no, this is the part of Moscow that everybody can visit. Although it takes only 30 minutes by car to Kremlin from this place, Kuryansky district can be said to be cut off from the city because of the railway line. We can get there from the metro station Pichaniki by bus, the journey time will take approximately 20 minutes. I will tell you honestly, while walking here you forget that you are in Moscow. That's why this place is so loved by filmmakers, because when you get there, it's like you are transported back to the 50s. Another interesting fact about this district that there are, you can see here a lot of things that connected to Soviet Union. For example, here is the statue of Lenin. And if we go a little bit to the left, we can see the post office that was in the past. It's a little bit changed, but even so you can see the Soviet Union sign. Many famous Russian movies were shot in Koreanova and also an interesting fact that Harrison Ford was there during the filming of the movie Key 19. What I really wanted to tell you is that this place is amazing, it really looks like Soviet Union and actually my government could make an like thematic place where tourists can come some tours to see how it was in the past like 50 100 years ago because here yeah, it looks approximately the same way they could build some cafes like you know in Soviet Union style but no there is nothing actually it's really difficult to get to this place and it's not popular at all really unfortunately really Another thing that I noticed here is just the building behind me. Take a look, they built a new door and put this in the building, but it's broken. And you see, it's losing the atmosphere of Soviet Union. They cannot reconstruct the building to make it more beautiful. They just put the new door that it's not combined here at all. In the beginning, Koreana was a closed military town. Apartments in this district were issued to the employees of the factories. However, Koreano had everything people needed like schools, kindergartens, hospitals, several shops, a house of culture, and since 1960, the district has been a part of Moscow. When I walked here, it seemed to me that I'm in the past, because even people seem so different, like not Moscovites. By the way, in Russia it was really common to write something like I love you in front of the windows on the floor and also I had a friend, uh, the girl who decided to say I love you to the boy when they were cute, kids and he, she wrote to the boy this and he became super shy and then he started cleaning everything so it was a fail. To be honest guys, this is the first time when I'm visiting this place and it's so different as you can see from the city center and there are so many people who are living there and the houses, they're so old, so I don't know, looking at this, sometimes many, many people can feel a little bit depressed as I am probably because it's really sad that people should live in these kind of conditions and believe me, I think 99% of them live in here not because they want to, because they don't have money and this is unfortunately the reality of living in Russia. Now this area is considered to be one of the worst and bad smelling in Moscow as well as Koreano are known for the large number of refugees from Ukraine. 
the only thing that I should mention that this district it's not the safest how for example the city center so I can't say it's really dangerous here but for example I wouldn't love to walk here alone at night And now this is how the beginning of a district looks like. This is the hospital of a district and there was a light so I think it's still working what I'm a little bit in shock. Also if you see in the right side of it, this building that far away you can see it's a jail. I really hope this video was interesting to you and if so don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to my channel and let's travel Russia together.